How's it going, everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna do how to get rid of ingrown hairs on the back of your head naturally. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate uh, the support helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So ingrown hairs on the back of your head, you guys, very, very common. Now, what happens is I get this normally after going for a haircut and I'm actually going for a haircut tomorrow. My hair is getting quite long, to be honest. <coughs> so I'm going for a haircut. I always get this whenever I'm done the haircut, I get ingrowns on the back of my head and I can literally feel them. The good news about this is it's very, very, very easy to get rid of this. What happens with an ingrown, you guys, is a lot of times you're probably not going to be able to see the actual hair itself. What is going to happen is you're going to have basically a little bump. It's, that's why it kind of feels a little bit hard. It feels like a bump back there. What happens is the hair is actually underneath the skin and what's on top of the skin is going to be pus. That's why if you pop an ingrown, you, you'll have like a ton of pus come out. What You never want to pop it though, because when you pop it, what happens is some of the pus will come out. That's where you, you see the pus and you're like, whoa, that's a lot of pus. What you don't see though, is most of it actually goes back into the body. And what happens is it actually pushes the hair farther down. And this can lead to infection. It can also lead um, to it just having a harder time getting rid of that ingrown hair. So very, very easy thing what I do now after my haircuts is I put a warm compress on the back of my head for about five minutes. I take it off and then I kind of just feel the bumps. I do it again another five minutes. What what will happen is that warm compress will actually drain the pus from the ingrown hair. And what will happen is that ingrown hair will actually be able to grow outwards again, just from using a warm compress. If you have a friend or a family member or anyone like that, there is an option when you're done using the warm compress to actually just get a pair of tweezers and just pull out the ingrown hair. You can do that as well. Another thing that I recommend <coughs> is after... Again, it doesn't matter why you're getting thin grown hairs on the back of your head. Chances are it's from a barber or getting a haircut or anything. But what's happening is probably shaving or anything like that. Put aftershave on afterwards. This prevents ingrown hairs tremendously. That's what I do for my neck. I used to get them all the time on my neck. Started using aftershave, none. So that's what I recommend. End the video. Thank you so much for watching.